Hi, I'm Paul Parmelo, and this is my 2014 Victory Cross Country Tour. It is two years old, has 30,000 kilometers on it, and the rubber foot under the kickstand is totally worn off. It's right down to the metal. So let's zoom in and I'll show you why this is happening on this particular bike. You can see that the stand is spring-loaded and moves up and down. When you put your kickstand down, and you put it on the ground, once it touches the ground, it slides. Same thing when you get back on the bike and lift it up, it slides before it lifts off the ground. And I think this is why it wears out. So let's get started and I'll show you how I am going to replace that rubber foot. The factory rivets the pad onto the kickstand. The easiest way to remove a rivet is to simply drill it out. But these are smooth and convex, so if you tried it now with a drill bit it would just walk. So I'm going to use a center punch and I'm going to make a little dimple right in the middle and then I'll start with a 1 8 inch drill bit and work my way up to drill these out. So now that we got the old one off, we need to replace it with a new piece of rubber. Where am I going to get one? Well, I'm in Canada, so I'm going to use a hockey puck. A hockey puck is three inches in diameter and one inch high. My kickstand is one and a quarter inches wide. I'm going to make a piece one and a half inches wide. I want to have a bit of overhang, so when I put my kickstand up, the rubber will hit the frame and not the kickstand. I don't want metal on metal. So I'm going to cut an inch and a half down the middle and then I'll cut it in half and I'll end up with two rubber feet for less than a buck. Although this next part isn't necessary, I'm just going to sand over the edges just to give it a little better shape. Since I had the two pieces, I decided to sand them both. Um, I bought some bolts. These are 30 millimeters long. I'm going to countersink them into the bottom, just uh, up a little bit and then it'll go through the kickstand. I'll put a lock washer on and some acorn nuts just to uh, make it look nice. The bolts were a little too long so I cut them down to three quarters of an inch and I put some blue Loctite in the acorn nuts. And as you can see, hits the frame nice. There's not going to be any scratches. So there you go. I took a puck, changed it into a pad, and mounted it on my bike. Thank you very much for watching my video. Be safe, have fun, save some money, and we'll see you next time.